Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I just woke up, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee. I literally cannot function, think, do anything without coffee, so we're gonna start there first. So every morning, I really like to make a latte with my Keurig. Um, so for the foam, I just like to use some of this Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer in vanilla. about that much. And then I like to finish topping it off with just some plain almond milk. So this is always the first thing that I have in the morning. I make this latte almost every single day. I feel like it's just like the most cozy way to start off your morning, especially now that we're getting into fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink this and then I will see you guys for breakfast. Okay guys, it's now a little bit later. It is, what time is it? It's 12.36. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast slash early lunch. I still have been intermittent fasting. So I stop eating at around like 8, 8.30 at night. And then I don't eat until like 12, 12.30. Um, and I follow this really loosely if I'm wake up and I'm like really hungry I'm not gonna like force myself to not eat until like 1230 It's just like whatever you know works with your body if your body is telling you to eat and that you're really hungry Then definitely eat make sure that you're nourishing yourself properly Okay, so I got my avocado and then the bread that I like to use is just this Dave's killer bread. It's vegan It's one of my favorites one slice actually has five grams of protein. So it's really a great source to get in some protein So it's a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch. I'm getting pretty hungry and I just did my makeup. I still need to do my hair, but I'm getting ready to film for the day and I'm someone who always needs to eat like beforehand because typically filming takes like several hours if I don't eat before and I wait to eat like in between. Then I get like really, really moody and it just doesn't go well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch. Um, for lunch, I'm gonna be making an orzo tabbouleh salad. It's one of my absolute favorite recipes. I also just finished my first Yeti of water. So I need to go fill this back up. I've really been trying to be so much better about drinking water. I know you guys hear me say this in like all of my videos, but I am like the worst at drinking water. I'm pretty sure that I'm like chronically dehydrated um, because I literally never drink water. Like I'm just, my body just never wants water. And so maybe I have like a good four ounces of water a day and the rest is all coffee. And then I wonder why like my lips are always dry or like my skin isn't like glowing and flourishing. <laughs> wonder why Katie. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the salad, fill this up. I'm gonna try to have at least four of these today, five if we're feeling wild, but water really is just so important for your body and your skin and your organs and everything to function properly. So probably should drink more of it. Okay, let's make some lunch. Okay guys, so this is everything that I'm gonna be using to make the salad. Um, I'm just gonna be using this baby spring mix as our greens base. And then this is the orzo pasta that I like to use. I should get mine at Sprouts. And then you just need a lemon, some mint. Um, I have some thyme for extra seasoning. That's super optional, up to you. Half a cucumber, some olive oil, um, some garlic, and then some Dijon mustard and some salt and pepper. So super easy to make. And then I do also use a food processor just to make it a little bit easier to chop up the cucumber. I'm gonna just start by chopping up our cucumber. Um, you can totally leave the skin on if you want to, or you can take it off. Whatever you wanna do, I personally just leave mine on. And then I like to just chop them into cubes, so like in fours. And then I'll just pop those in the food processor. Okay, so I like to chop it up just until it looks kind of like this to where they're like small little diced up pieces, but obviously they're not like pureed. And then I'm just gonna take some of our mint leaves and I'm just going to kind of finely chop those up. Okay, and then once that's all pretty much finely chopped up, I'm just gonna add that in with the cucumbers. And I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm gonna put half of it in with the cucumbers just to kind of give it like a nice, really like fresh taste. And then I'm gonna just put in some thyme for some extra seasoning. 
I'm gonna add some salt. I like using pink Himalayan salt. And then a little bit of pepper. Okay, and then for the dressing, I like to always just put it in a little like container so that I have it throughout the week. Um, you're just gonna take lemon again, and then I just juice a whole half of the lemon. And then I'm gonna take some of my Dijon mustard, and this kind of makes like a really refreshing and light like lemon vinaigrette. Um, so it's really up to you on the taste how much you wanna put in there. I honestly don't really measure it, so it's really up to you. Um, and then I like to add in some garlic. And then I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper in here as well. And then the last thing that I'm gonna add in here is just a little bit of olive oil. Okay guys, all the orzo pasta just finished cooking. I just drained it and then just popped it in this bowl. So it is best to make this recipe whenever the pasta is cold. So I'm gonna just put it in the freezer probably for about like 20 minutes just to kind of let it cool down. And then we're gonna add all the ingredients to it and finish the salad. Okay, pasta is all chilled and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of the cucumbers. Once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna to go ahead and start putting in our salad. I like to make this a nice big salad just to really get in my greens for the day. And then I like to put a few spoonfuls. And traditionally, orzo tabbouleh does have like tomato in there, but I personally hate tomato, so totally up to you, but you can add tomato in there um, to give it some more color, but I like to do that. And then I'm just gonna to top it off with some of these vegan feta crumbles. And then last step is just add on some of the lemon vinaigrette. And that's the salad. It's seriously so simple, but such a good recipe to make. And I really like that you can make all of the pasta in like a bulk kind of portion so that you can actually like kind of meal prep it and have it throughout the week. So it's super easy just to kind of throw together. But yeah, this is seriously such a good salad. If you guys try it, make sure you guys let me know. So for dinner, we're actually gonna be making some vegan Alfredo with broccoli. And I actually found it off of this girl's Instagram. Um, I made it the other day for me and my friend Megan and it's like the most delicious thing ever. So super, super simple recipe. Okay, so all you need for this recipe is obviously some broccoli. I just cooked this last night for a different meal, so I'm just gonna be using the rest of this. Um, you're gonna need some vegan ricotta. This is just the Kite Hill one. This is one of my favorites. They have like the best vegan dairy products. Um, salt, pepper, you'll need nutritional yeast, um, some pasta or protein pasta. This one I just get from Target. I don't remember the brand of it, but it's just like the, it's in like a yellow box and all the pasta section is just a vegan protein pasta. And then I add in some garlic and then I use some coconut oil. Her recipe said to use avocado oil, but I don't have any. And I tried it once with olive oil and it tasted just so weird. So if you make this, don't use olive oil, does not taste good. Um, and then you just need some almond milk. Okay, after it's all blended up, this is kind of just what it should look like. You can definitely adjust it to make it like more runny or more thick, depending on how you like your sauce. But it's super yummy. I always like to kind of just taste test it too to make sure it doesn't need any more like salt or pepper or anything. But this was made to perfection. I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, and then once the pasta and everything is done, I like to just put it in one big kind of like skillet so that way I can heat everything up, pour over the sauce. I really like this because it has just so many good like nutrients in there, especially with the nutritional yeast. And then you get your protein from the protein pasta in here. So overall, just such a good, like nice, yummy, 
fall dinner, super warm and cozy, but still pretty healthy and delicious. Okay guys, it's about 7 p.m. Um, I intermittent fast. I don't know if I already talked about that in this video. I know I have in previous what I eat in days, but I like to intermittent fast, so I stop eating around 8 p.m. and then I start eating the next day around noon or honestly, it's whenever I'm hungry. So for my sweet tooth, I'm gonna be having some Oreos. These are my absolute favorite and they're vegan, which is awesome. I definitely used to be like, okay, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to lose weight. Like I can't have any sugar whatsoever at all like i have to be so good 100 percent of the time so i personally found that the best way for me is to allow myself to like have those sweet things and kind of like cure my sweet tooth but just not go overboard with it um so a serving size of these is just three cookies so that's typically all i'll have and i always make sure that if i'm like taking these over to the couch to like watch netflix or something at the end of the night that i'm not taking the entire like package because if i take the entire package i promise you i will eat the entire thing in one sitting and that's where it goes wrong so I always just make sure that I like either if I'm having like whatever it may be if it's like a snack I always just like pour some in a bowl or take a few and then put the rest of the package away so that I don't eat the entire thing so I'm gonna go watch at the office eat my Oreos and then go to bed so that's it for this video if you guys want to see more what I eat in a day let me know because I'm trying out a whole bunch of new recipes that are not based on like faux meats that are really more based on like eating whole foods. So comment down below if you guys want to see more of these and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.